Chapter 5. Culture and Civilization. Culture is the quality in a person that arises from a concern for what is regarded as excellent in arts, letters, manners, scholarly pursuits, etc. A culture has sets of rules, symbols, and traditions that are enacted and shaped as behaviors, feelings, and thoughts of groups of people. Referring primarily to learned behavior as distinct from that which is given by culture, biology, or nature that has been used to designate everything that is humanly produced, arts, artifacts, beliefs, habits, and passed from one generation to another. In this formulation, culture is distinguished from nature, and one society from another. And civilization consists of an advanced state of human society, in which a high level of culture, government, industry, and science has been reached. Nations or people that have reached such a state. Human society. A society is an organized group of people associated together for benevolent, cultural, patriotic, political, scientific, or other purposes. In broader terms, it is a highly structured system of human organization for large-scale community living that normally furnishes continuity, protection, security, and a national identity for its members. A large population enables more ideas and social change, increasing the need for more laws, norms, and sanctions. And a society's beliefs and values are essential to development and growth, but when a group's beliefs and values are tied into religion the ideas and social changes can be detoured. They wouldn't want change and would rather things remain the same. But having moral beliefs and values promotes effective, significant, and useful change. Therefore, it depends on society, and if society can gain more knowledge of discoveries and information. This would enable innovation and inventions for the society to function at local, national, and regional levels more efficiently. Components of a society There are five basic components of human society, culture, material products, population, social institutions, and social organization. Culture includes values, beliefs, norms, knowledge, language, and symbols. Culture can both deter and promote social changes. The material product consists of the goods or substance by labor, that is a limited amount. A material product can promote change because people will find other alternatives for existing products. A population consists of the total number of people inhabiting any area, city, county, or district. Social institutions consist of the education system, economy, family, government, and religion. The social organization consists of the structure of social relations within a group, usually the relations between its institution and subgroups. A social organization is a network of relationships between its members. Some people hold political roles and social positions that may deter or promote change. Social structure is the relationship patterns of friendships or status that exist among members of a group or society. Structure refers to patterns within the culture and organization through which social action takes place, the structure both constrain and enable what is possible in social life. Social stratification is the hierarchical or vertical division of society according to caste, class, or rank. A division of people socioeconomically into layers or strata. Social stratification draws attention to society and the positions occupied unequally. In industrialized countries and larger traditional societies today, there is stratification in terms of property, wealth, and access to cultural products and material goods. Related terms. Agency, a bureau, company, or organization that provides some service for another. A means of exerting influence or power in an operation instrumentality. A group is several people or things placed together, in association with others. Equality, the quality or state of being equal in ability, degree, quantity, rank, or value. Ethnicity, an ethnic group or social group that shares a common and distinctive culture, language, or religion. Inequality, the condition of being unequal, lacking disparity or equality. Injustice, partiality. Institution, an establishment, foundation, organization, or society that is devoted to promoting a particular cause or program. Especially one of a charitable, educational, or public character. Language, a body of words and the systems for their use are common to people of the same community, culture, tradition, group, geographical area, or nation. Norms, the average, general level, model, pattern, or standard that constitute the normal. Race, a group of people related by common descent or heredity. A group of people or tribes forming an ethnic lineage. A people united by common cultural history, language, traits, etc. Role, a part played by someone with the behavior patterns, obligations, rights, expected to be associated with this particular status. Status, the position of an individual concerning another or others, especially regarding a profession or social standing. The condition or state of affairs. Values, considered for effectiveness, excellence, importance, significance, usefulness, and worth. Earlier civilization. Religion is the stepping stone to civilization. At heart any religion is the certainty of direction, meaning, and purpose to form order. To better explain why things are the way they are, and generally, religion is the glue that binds people together. The longest-lasting civilization in the world began in ancient Egypt. 
For three thousand years the pharaohs ruled and their people believed. The pharaohs used their authority and power to oppress the people. Egypt is where civilization and religion became emerged as one, and every civilization since has adopted the same formula. The people of Egypt would follow any water sources, but western hunters built a stone hedge lake for rain that was believed to be sacred. People would congregate around the lake for water just for the summer season, and worship together. The site is now known to be over 7,000 years old, and about 10 square miles of stones, arranged into circles and mounds. The first monuments were all inspired by religion and aligned in a specific direction basically towards the north. Even though the term religion didn't exist during the pharaoh's rule, these early stages of civilization helped form religion. The North Star helped align stones. There was even a stone hedge built representing a calendar. The calendar would tell them when summer rains were about to start, and it too was considered sacred. The gods, seasons, stars, and sun were all linked together, to help Egyptians learn how their world worked. Cows were eaten, and often young cows were sacrificed and buried beneath the ground. It is believing the sacrifice was unto the gods to control nature, bring rain, and ensure their livelihood continued. Generally, the people had to appeal to the gods, to make sure nature did what they wanted to do, to survive. And this is how religion operates nowadays. Our brains are built in such a way that facilitates religious and spiritual ideas. Enabling us to experience them fairly easily, and make them a part of the humanity's belief system at least for the large majority of people. In evolutionary terms, people seem to need religion for behavior patterns, beliefs, moral systems, and sense of values. Ever since early civilization unto the present time, some type of religious and spiritual elements has existed that was a part of how to view ideas and the world of humanity. All those elements came together to create a cohesive society that allows a civilization to form. For religion to spread it needs to be communicated and shared with others. The most powerful form of communication is imagery and symbols. Egyptians edged their art onto the Kenyan walls. There are hundreds of images carved onto the walls, that represent an insight into the world of people who gathered there. Mostly hunters domesticating the animals in the images, imposing their order on the natural world. In all emerging civilizations, religion was called upon to bring good fortune and impose control over the environment. Religion also brought the hope of eternal life. The early Egyptians had the power to unite the faithful, and this is what preachers and priests now are doing. All these elements exist in local communities today. Religion can help argumentative and combative people meet on common grounds to form reconciliation. With team bonding, those individuals can focus less on their emotions and volitional processes, and more on their perceptions of reason. Culture of the Western Continent In broader terms, the Western Continent refers to the cultures of the United States and Europe. The United States is home to the Midwest, Northeast, South, Southeast, and Western regions, it is the third largest country in the world. Although the customs and traditions of the first Americans helped form its culture, the English colonized this country during the early 1600s. The United States population is about 325 million, and all regions have their distinctive customs and traditions. Every region from around the world has contributed, influenced, and shaped the American culture. The Census Bureau shows that a child is born every 8 seconds, a person dies every 12 seconds, and a new immigrant moves to the United States every 33 seconds. According to the U.S. government, there is no official language of the United States. Frequently spoken languages are Chinese, English, French, German and Spanish, even though there are an estimated 300 languages spoken in the United States. With the United States being a melting pot, immigrants integrate by blending, you see this immensely in the food cuisines, carpooling to church or work, and even shopping at the local mall. The United States materialistic culture brand labels consist of Abercrombie and Fitch, Adidas, American Eagle Outfitters, Converse, Gucci, Forever 21, H&M, Hollister, Louis Vuitton, Ralph Lauren, Nike, Vans, Victoria's Secret, Urban Outfitters, etc. Americans' business, electronics, and fashion are influenced by celebrities and media trends. Retail e-commerce sales were an estimated $98.1 billion around the first quarter of 2017. In early history American food was influenced by Europeans and Native Americans, now frequent food dishes consisting of Chinese, Greek, German, India, Italian, Korean, Mexican, and Spanish. The television broadcasting industry started in the early 1950s, and the United States is known around the world as a leader in mass media production which includes movies and television. Its movie industry is centered in California known as Hollywood and theatrical shows are the home to Broadway in New York. American music style consists of blues, bluegrass, country, gospel, jazz, hip-hop, rap, rock and roll, etc. American is well known for its business entrepreneurship and stock trade. The United States is also well known for its athletes, beauty queens, charity organizations, veterans, and volunteers. Holidays are distinctive features of the United States culture, and some holidays are only celebrated in America. 
such as Martin Luther King Jr. Remembrance is on the third Monday in January, Abraham Lincoln and George Washington birthdays are on President's Day the third Monday in February, Memorial Day honors all who have died in the military service and it is celebrated on the last Monday in May, Independence from Great Britain is celebrated on July 4th, Labor Day observance is on the first Monday in September celebrating the country's workforce, and Thanksgiving is celebrated the fourth Thursday in November, the theme is a harvest, and Veterans Day is observed on November 11th. Western culture influences the world, just as it is being influenced by immigrants who travel from foreign countries to embrace the American way of life. The United States is a diverse culture, just as other regions around the world. The way people blend in the United States is unique, some may decide to keep their close-knit family traditions as far as language, marriage, music, or relations. While others blend with the single urban community and the social life that it has to offer. Since the United States was founded based on religious freedom, nearly every religion is practiced. However, the Christian population is decreasing according to the Pew Research Center, 71% of Americans identify as Christian, 23% had no religious affiliation, and this category is expected to drop 13% by 2060. Citizens' Rights and Responsibilities The government under the Constitution is designed to promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty. Citizenship offers benefits and equality, it is of great importance. The American nation is bound by shared values of equality, freedom, and liberty it connects citizens on common grounds. When immigrants become a citizen, they too can play a role of democracy in America. The United States has several rights and responsibilities that come with citizenship and should be exercised with respect. To ensure every American citizen's freedom, some of these rights and responsibilities are legally required. These are the laws of the land. You can become a citizen by going to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration website. Rights Responsibilities Freedom to express yourself. Freedom to pursue liberty, life, and the pursuit of happiness. Freedom to worship as you wish. Right to apply for federal employment requiring U.S. citizenship. Right to a prompt, fair trial by jury. Right to vote in elections for public officials. Right to run for elected office. Defend the country if the need should arise. Defend and support the Constitution. Obey and respect federal, local and state laws. Participate in the democratic process. Participate in your local community. Pay taxes on time for income and other taxes honestly, to federal, local and state authorities. Serve on a jury when called upon. Stay informed of the issues affecting your community. Respect the beliefs, opinions, and rights of others. Society's social class and expectations. Generally, social class is considered to have a great influence on culture in America. All aspects of the American culture are governed by the social structure of consumer behavior, interaction, and residential location. Most of which is based upon education, income, and occupation, also political behavior is affected by class status. These are essential values for all Americans, but most upper classes dedicate their entire lives to achieving financial freedom, a healthy lifestyle, leisure vacation, prestige, and prominent status. The middle class dedicates their entire lives to family, religion, traditions, and work. So, whatever you value most, is where your overall class identity will manifest. The greatest aspect of the class is living a healthier lifestyle, which will enable self-consciousness to avoid power struggles and own your actions. Having said that, it doesn't take much wealth to achieve those qualities. If you want to believe in the powers of the resurrection, read my book The Unlimited Resurrection on Amazon. Family Roles A family is a group of people that consist of a man, woman, and biological or adopted children. In a traditional family, the man and woman are married raising their biological, adopted children and slash or taking care of extended family such as parents. A traditional family fulfills the generational, legal, and religious traditions of a family foundation for the structure. Essentially tradition is a long-established or inherited way of acting and thinking, formally. In a non-traditional family, the man and woman are a same-sex, unwed couple or single parent that is raising their biological, adopted children and slash or taking care of extended family such as parents. A non-traditional family isn't obligated to fulfill the traditions of a family foundation. Non-tradition is a short established or inherited way of acting and thinking, informally. Even though a non-traditional family probably would need it the most, any family can improve to strengthen the foundation. Strengthening Family Members' Traditional Roles The basic head of household male and female roles consist of caregiving, guide with attention and concern, nurture and support them, clean house, discipline, provide financial support, protection, resolve problems, teach respectable vocabulary and willingness to achieve, wash clothes, etc. But first and foremost, all children are to be taught to obey and respect adults, and most importantly people of authority. Unless they are dealing with a child molester, then it is obeying, respect while in the way with them, but eventually report them. Generally, children are expected to cooperate with and respect their parents. 
Older youth can help supervise younger siblings while learning at home and school. It isn't favorable to the only discipline or teaches, you need a true balance between the two. Because if older youth aren't comprehending at home it will show up in church and school, and they probably won't lead the younger siblings down a responsible path. If you discipline and teach equally, other areas of your children's life won't fall apart. And if your parent wasn't concerned about the importance of strengthening family members' traditional roles, you still can fulfill them with your children. To break the cycle of death, incarceration, or mental illness for family members. Family roles can help form happiness with harmony. Family roles help shape our interaction in a group setting, these roles function to create deep, meaningful, and safe relationships, to maintain a balance in the family's structure. Healthy families function this way, so the family can develop maturely with leadership qualities. Gender roles. 1. Role of a father, provide financial support as head of household, make responsible decisions with the spouse. Manage the household by paying bills on time, taking the children to church and school, attending school meetings, take them to the local library, help with shopping, and preparing meals. Help with other things such as extracurricular activities for children, gardening, home repairs, help with child care, homework, and spouse with marketing. 2. Role of a mother, provide financial support as head of household, make responsible decisions with the spouse. Manage and treasurer, budget, and plan, coordinate and supervise household tasks, nurture and take care of the children, help with child care, homework, and extracurricular activities for children. Help with other things such as taking the children to church and school, attending school meetings, take them to the local library. 3. Role of a boy, help with outside household chores, and older youth shopping and supervise siblings. 4. Role of a girl, help with inside household chores, and older youth shopping and supervise siblings. The gender roles may vary according to traditional marital status, and whether the children model their parents' roles. Naturally, family roles may change over time due to the ability to adapt and adjust to a task, or when there are crises. Parents can strengthen the family by helping one another with chores as equal partners, and avoid harsh or severe disciplining. Be clear about their day-to-day -day responsibilities in and to the family, also be fair and flexible by seeking input from the children. Children can participate in a variety of decisions, making real decisions can help them grow up to be responsible adults. They just need to see how those particular tasks help the family. Allow them to express their opinions without fear of criticism and not allow interruptions. Parents can end on a cheerful note with a joke or refreshments. Raise your children in joy, love, and kindness with righteousness. Show them that they are important, their decisions count, and celebrate their success. Have discussions, talk about fun things, and plan family activities. Raising them to show respect for all adults will help them see why the parents are in charge, and why children need to honor that. Studies have shown that authoritative parenting has the most positive benefits for children, because they dominate with complete control, favoring subordinates. Studies too have proven that authoritative parents are more than likely to help cause mental illness in their children through traumatic experiences. Even though these mishaps and mayhem occur in non-traditional, just as traditional family households. The best parenting approach is not to try and improve dictatorship areas. It is about strengthening the family's foundation for achievements and long-term success. Taking parenting classes at a church, school, university, etc., can help to improve many areas of parenting.